welcome back to my channel everyone i'm naturally ken ken and today i have another hair tutorial for you guys i like hair company is a company that specializes in ventilated textured edge frontal wigs and they're supposed to imitate your natural edges let me tell y'all it did just that so right now i'm showing you everything that they sent me in the package they sent me clips um a cue card with their information on it. if you want to follow them you can go follow them um combs they sent me a lot of goodies and they also sent me a wig band so that you can wear this wig glueless if you wanted to and this is the gorgeous wig that we got this wig is so freaking beautiful if you are somebody that is not into having like a super duper sleek polished look this wig is perfect for you it's supposed to imitate our natural hair at I just want you guys to get into how natural this hair already looks, but I'm still going to go in with a little bit of bleach and developer so that it can be at its ultimate most natural looking. Um, you can get this bleach and developer from Sally's Beauty Supply. I'm using a 40 volume developer from the brand Salon Care and the bleaching powder as well in the brand Salon Care. Um, this bleach is top tier. I don't get that. Like, It does get brassy. But I feel like the BW powder kind of makes my wigs a lot more brassy than this powder does and this bleach. So I ended up using this. So I let it sit for fi about 15 minutes so that I can bleach my knots thoroughly. And I'm rinsing out the bleach and developer now. And then I'm going to go in with a ionizing shampoo to stop the bleach from, you know, processing through the hair. And then also I'm going to go in with a purple shampoo to tone the knots. So this hair already looked plucked as is, but y'all know I always got to go back in and perfect it a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my tweezers and pluck the hairline a little bit more so I can have the ultimate laid and slayed and natural look. Um, I'm moving the baby hairs out the way because of course I don't want to pluck any of those because those are the focal point of the wig. So we're not going to really mess with those. If you guys want a more detailed ble bleaching and plucking tutorial, please comment that down below so I can make that for you guys because... I don't think I've done like an in-depth video on bleaching. No, actually I have, but I might have to do an updated one for y'all. So just let me know. <laughs> so remember guys, the, this wig is a textured edge wig. Normally we would take our hot comb to the front of the wig and hot comb it back. But instead I'm taking mousse because if you put a hot comb to the edges, it's going to mess up the texture of the edge and make the edges silky instead of giving you that textured um, natural look. So I'm just taking some mousse. This is the Nairobi mousse. And I'm just slicking it back and I'm gonna take a black wrap and put that around the um, perimeter of my cap's head and lay that down for about 10 minutes so that it can set. And I do this cause I like my hair slicked back when I put my wigs on cause it makes it easier for me to see where to lay my lace. But yeah, please do not hot comb these edges back because this wig is not meant for that, guys. <laughs> So once the wig has set for about 10 minutes or so, we're going to cut the black band off. And as you guys can see, this hair is like slicked back and you can still see some of the textured edge. And as we begin to install the wig, that edge, that texture will come back. But look how natural this is already starting to look, y'all. Like it looks so good. Um, but I'm going in and I'm going to cut some of the lace off because I want to show you guys that you can wear this wig completely glueless you don't have to wear it glueless you can install glue i'm using glue for this particular install because i wanted it to last a little bit long but I mean, you don't have to you could definitely use hairspray or mousse whatever you like to do but this wig can definitely be worn glueless if you guys were wondering So 
So it's no surprise that I have a humongous head. <laughs> so this wig fit me okay, but it didn't go down on the sides far enough for me. So since the wig wasn't fitting, I obviously had to take the wig off my head and unadjust, unadjust the straps in the back that I just adjusted and put it back on. But it still wasn't fitting like how I needed it to. You see, I had to pull the, the wig really, really hard to fit it over my sideburns. And I didn't want to have it like too tight on my head, if you get what I'm saying. But I ended up taking it off and cutting the sides. And I'm going to show you that in a quick second. And as you can see, this hair can be worn completely glueless. This lace is not even melted yet. And look at it already. Like, it's already flawless. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take my wig and then cut it from the parameters that you see here so that I can have a little bit more give where my sideburns are. So it's easier for me to glue those down without me having to stretch the wig out completely. And it is a complete fit now. Uh, ignore my face because I look mean here, but I was really, really focused. I'm like, this wig is going to get on my head today. And that's on period. I'm just playing. <laughs> no, it is going to get on my head today. But anyways, um, I'm going in with my favorite Bold Hold Active Glue. And I'm only doing two layers because I did want to wear the wig for a couple of days, but not like for a whole two weeks now. So I'm going to not talk during this segment because I feel like you guys have seen this part over and over again um yeah So once that glue has dried completely clear, we're gonna take our lace and lay it down completely. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure, slight pressure, because if you apply too much pressure, the glue can turn a grayish black color. You don't want that. But guys, take your time during this process of laying it down. Um, practice makes perfect at the end of the day. I lay it down in sections, so as you can see, um, I don't know what happened to the clip of me laying the front down first, but I laid the front down first so I can get my foundation. And then I went ahead and laid the sides down just like that. And then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer on medium heat, high speed to get that sealed in a lot more than what it is. I'm also going to be going in with my black band to tie my edges down for about 10 minutes so that it can seal the deal a lot more. So after my hair has sat underneath the band for 10 minutes, I'm going to take it off and whatever hair or whatever lace that did not get glued down I'm cutting that off with my razor and guys my hair already looks so super duper natural I'm so excited um this lace was like amazing it blended really well it was super duper easy to work with and I'm trying my best not to cut any of the ventilated edges off of the wig um I want to keep as much of those on there as possible so that I can get that that look that textured edge look I 
I want somebody in my comments to tell me this is not my hair. Like, I'm just gonna be on standby waiting for that comment because it's just like, oh my goodness. Uh, I was shocked, y'all. I was stunned. Like, this can't be like, they literally have wigs for everybody now. Everybody. Everybody. Silky baby hair is where? This is my natural hair. Period. <laughs> so I'm going in with my spritz and I'm just going to fix up that white line. Because even though this lace was really good, you know, lace just tends to leave white lines. And that just fixed it right then and there. And I'm going to go ahead and tie my edges back up so that that could set as well. And I'm going to go in with my curling wand to give myself some wand curls because I was just feeling wand curls on this big voluptuous hair okay so before I begin doing the wand curls I'm gonna go in and define my part I wanted to do a side part you know side parts just give to me honestly don't ask me any questions about it <laughs> no but I'm gonna go in with some um, mousse to define my part I didn't really use any heat or a hot comb because I wanted to maintain the texture of this hair. I'm pretty sure even after putting heat on the hair, it'll still revert back to the original texture it was, but I didn't really wanna take any chances. I just wanted to do that. And I will also be dividing my hair into three sections so that it'll make it easier for me to do the wand curls. So I'm going to be taking medium sections of my hair and wrapping them around the wand curl just to give me some like cute little wand curls, some little springy curls. So once I am done wand curling, I'm gonna go in with some volumizing hairspray to give it even more body than this hair already has. And I'm just gonna be refreshing some of the curls that may have not been curled to my liking, and yes. And you guys, we have reached the end of this video. I am super duper in love with this hair. It was very, very easy to install. The lace on it was amazing. Like, look at it. These curls are just giving. Um, If you want, hair that symbolizes your natural texture or if you're not really into the silky look or anything like that this wig is perfect for you um if you have not done so already subscribe and follow me on all my social medias if you're not subscribed to me what are you doing like where have you been like subscribe sis join the fam period but no i'm touching it up here and giving myself a little bit of layers and we are finished Oh. Mm -hmm.